Hi everyone, I'm back again to share with you another dream that my daughter had. Um, my daughter had this dream uh, this year on the 3rd of the 10th, 2014. Uh, she's now 10 by the way. And uh, in her dream, she was Esther. Uh, before I tell you her dream, I just wanted to share with you that we have the movie One Night with the King. I'm not sure if anyone has seen that movie, but together as a family, my, my children and I have watched uh, this movie and it tells the story of Esther uh, that is in our Bibles. Uh, needless to say, uh, in the movie, um, you know, Esther goes, they show Esther going through her 12 months of preparation before her one night with the king and included in that preparation of, you know, bathing uh, in myrrh and perfumes and uh, getting to select what they want to wear and the jewels that they want to be adorned in uh, before they go uh, to the king. Uh, basically, um, my daughter's dream was about uh, that preparation. So in the dream, my daughter was Esther and she said that she had people around her dressing her and preparing her uh, for her one night. Um, she said that just like in the movie, she went into the treasury uh, with all the other ladies where they were allowed to choose the jewellery that they wanted to wear for their one night uh, with the king. Um, but the thing that was different from the movie um, was basically what they were told. So those that were preparing them and getting them ready uh, told them that uh, told all the ladies that whatever they were wearing whatever they chose whatever garment they chose to wear and whatever uh, jewelry they chose to adorn themselves with they must remain in all the time even when sleeping to be ready for when the king called them because basically the king could call them up at any time at any hour and so in her dream she, that, that everyone was told to stay dressed and ready uh, even when sleeping. So obviously the significance of that or for those with spiritual ears to hear uh, know that we are meant to be dressed in our garment of righte righteousness and adorned in the treasures of the Holy Spirit. Um, you know the gifts, um, you know the fruits of the Spirit that we um, now display as we walk in the Spirit um, so that we're ready for our King at all times. This is not the hour um, to now sort of cast your dress off and return to the world. It is not the time to get it dirty again. It's time for uh, staying, you know, clean in our garments and, uh, and ready for that moment that the king comes to collect his bride. Anyway, I hope this blesses you today. Um, talk to you soon. Bye.